not going to go directly into quality and all i mean uh, let's not make it immediately boring i'll show you some pictures and we have to connect those pictures these are these pictures will be like dots okay now you have to connect these dots to come up with the whole uh, idea which i want to convey okay so uh, this is the first picture this is the second picture this is the third picture this is the fourth picture this is the fifth picture and this is the sixth picture and the seventh picture okay so um, can you uh, can any one of you guess i mean i have shown you quickly these slides it like a bioscope over here so uh, what do you think these how, how are these pictures connected with each other sir uh, old method and the second one shows the evolution old map and new map someone is saying old anyone else Okay. Sir, it shows the uh, sir. It shows uh, um, the evolution, like methods which were used uh, earlier and uh, now. Okay. Anyone else? So let me tell you. Uh, imagine yourself getting up in morning, and you have this choice. There are two means. You see on the left side, which you have over here, on the right side and the left side. So, this one which you see over here, is, what is this? Datan. Yeah, Neem yeah, Neem Datan, you can say. And on the right side, what you have on the left side, what you have over here? It's Tooth a modern way of brushing your teeth. Toothpaste. Yeah. So this one is available for free, right? And this one, uh, uh, people say that we are extracting things out of this and putting in the to toothpaste and giving it to you. Then you are taking this. Anyone who is using Datun in their day-to-day -day life? And uh, I then and then your silence means that re remaining 20, 19 people are using toothpaste only and with the brush, right? So you wake up in the morning and you pick up a tooth. Tooth, uh, toothbrush and paste right then uh, you go for breakfast now when you go for breakfast uh, which one would you would you pick if let's say these two things are lying on the table and you don't know when uh, the one the picture on the left or when when was this bun opened right but you know this one so which one are you going to pick of the two left or right right one back one right one, back back one. one. Right one. why Uh, it's fresh, we know that's why. Okay, uh, and then you go to the third one. Now, where would you like to do job? On the left one or the right one? This is Chandni Chowk right. and this is Manhattan on the right side. Where would you like to right. work? Right one. All of right you, one. Uh, all of you give your uh, opinion here in the chat box. Right or left? I want to see. Not a raise hand, but right in the chat box whether you want to take the job on the right side or on the left side. Varun, right, 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 right. Everyone wants right. Nobody wants to work on the left, right? <laughs> okay. So this is another picture. Okay. Then uh, uh, given a choice, I mean, let's say you are you go to office. Now you are located in uh, Manhattan and there are two choices, uh, one on the left, one on the right. One on the left is a posh place to eat. Uh, and one on the right side is a local dhaba. Now, uh, I'd like to put a condition over here that this is something which you're going to choose on daily basis. Which one you're going to choose, left or right? Which one you're going to choose, left or right? Right. Anyone? Uh, just write right. your opinion over here. Give your opinion in the chat box, left or right? The place, right, right, right. Right one, dhaba. All of you are going to eat in Dhaba. Daily, on daily basis, you can eat in Dhaba. It's difficult to eat on daily basis. In yeah. Just a so, 
although you are saying probably you have not had food in dhaba for a long time but then you do that for 2 3 days uh, do that for a week and then you'll be sorted out okay <laughs> so anyway uh, i'll say that from experience most of you are going to choose the place on the left for sure okay it's not that uh, whatever picture is there on the right side is one that you'll be, you should be choosing while i'm asking it now uh, look at this place what do you see on the left and the right what is this place on the left yes it's some sort of gathering like with the projector screen yeah and what there but there's another one where it's on the right side is your multiplex so after uh, hectic days of work would where would you like to go left side or the right side give your opinion left it it, it looks like okay yeah so left side uh, neha is saying left okay neha so um, it might look uh, jazzy or it might look something sustainable on the left side but um, i can guarantee you that there will be lot of insects and the flies and it will there will be probably lot of humidity also in this area <laughs> and probably the seating which you are looking at may not be very clean so it looks uh, lucrative <laughs> from, from here but that's what it's going to be it's going to be the right side most of you guys have uh, said it on the right side okay so this is your friday now next uh, uh, again next day comes and uh, you got two choices one is the old uh, our grand old ambassador over there on the left side and you got a sleek uh, car on the right side which one you are going to choose left or right anyone with the going with the uh, grand old uh, dad ambassador nobody is going for the right side okay the left side everyone is going for the right side okay so this is thing i mean uh, you can imagine your life that's how it's going to be <clears throat> and at the end of the day when you come back to your home uh, mostly most of you would be alone for some time or we will be living with your roommates and all when you'll be working so you would find this setup so which one you're going to choose left or the right one right, right. one nobody wants crt television probably no one has that anymore or you may just be keeping it as an antique in your house you are having it so uh, look at this situation over here uh, uh, is is it not the reason why you are uh, there doing engineering how many of you aim for this life say yes uh, you aim for the life which you have chosen over here how many of you say yeah, agree with me yes karan pratap yes so i mean that's what you people are looking for at this point of time what's so uh, typical about this life which is not there in that one i mean i've given you two extremes of it so what is there in the crt television and ambassador broken ambassador Uh, uh, uh probably a village where you you going to watch open uh, movies in uh, a screen like this or uh, you going to eat in dhaba daily and you going to work in uh, the slum like area and you probably going to eat a stale food and doing datun nobody would want any such such life is it only convenience or is it luxury or is it is there something beyond that which you are looking for what's so common about all these things is a, a led tv a luxury i don't think so anymore it's not a luxury or having a, a sleek car is a luxury i don't think so it's not a luxury uh, going to multiplex is luxury i don't think so uh, most of the people who are working can afford at least once better lifestyle okay carvi is coming to the point so what is the better lifestyle what is the meaning of better lifestyle Yes, Kavi. What do you mean by better lifestyle? Like, uh, one like we can you know enjoy life more and uh, have things that are of better quality, of better uh, like brands and everything. So, 
so basically uh, you're saying brand you are saying uh, better lifestyle and all is it not all related to a, a sort of a minimum quality or an assured assured quality sir ha sir no. we can we can compare with the better lifestyle with the better healthy life if you have a healthy life or and the less income gaps this is the healthy life okay gap so between see, the see, yeah, i'm not going into philosophy uh, so i don't want to diverge into philosophy so probably let's not go into the you can say philosophical part of it or the philanthropic part of it i'm just saying that we uh, with all this uh, pictures which i have shown and which you oh, all agreed with sir. yeah neha yeah. yes sir so the uh, time ke sath development ke sath chalna okay ha uh, outdated nahi rehna to wo wali cheez okay sakte. so see what, what uh, i uh, perceive from all these pictures is we are all running for a certain minimum quality of life all the time why do you want to uh, uh, have a good rank in je so that you may get into a good college why into a good college because you get a better education better status or people are going to judge your quality with that right so you want to attain certain quality you want to establish certain quality for yourself you want to establish your brand as a person is it not uh, with all these choices you are always striving for better quality in a way how many of you agree with me the the underlying uh, philosophy over here is that all these things guarantee that guarantee or uh, assures that you get a certain minimum quality in life okay so right now you are doing this class at 8 pm why you are doing it because uh, at the end of the day you want a better quality for yourself you want to be a better quality in yourself and you want to achieve the better quality of the things around you right so our whole life nowadays uh, we are striving to for uh, better quality so this subject is somewhere uh, you can consider yourself to be related all the time with you it's not sometimes we might be talking about some industry doing this and that and all but if you look at that uh, whatever we will be doing in this course is actually applicable to you and to your day to day life okay beyond you should i mean when you are uh, uh, doing this course don't think that is it's going to be only industry probably these things are actually applicable in your day to day life also if you look at it and many things which we are we are going to learn in this uh, course probably you may be able to apply it in your day to day life also so we will see that uh, how we frame this course and um, uh, we can do a project also on yourself you can do a project on yourself uh, techniques which we are going to learn in this course okay so uh, just a second <clears throat> so uh, let's say uh, formally now let's talk about quality and this name of the subject is total quality management see uh, in your house you got elder people then you have uh, middle level people like your uh, maybe you can consider it like you have grand people in your house uh, grandfather grandmother then you have your mother and father then you okay so similarly let's try to understand the concept of tqm okay so the tqm concept goes somewhat like this and it it actually is going to tell us how we are going to go uh, doing this course so we are not directly going to jump into tqm for the reason that it may might not look very interesting to you reason one the reason two is which i'm going to explain right now so uh, i'm just looking for the white board it's not there i have to load it
So you can consider it like somewhat like this, that in your house, what you have is your grandparents, then you have parents and then uh, you, okay. So most of the groundwork is done by the young people at home, right? So you are located over here doing the groundwork. And then your parents are going to make some policies for you where, where you're going to go do the education and all. And then you have at the top is the grand, grandparents who are going to govern that uh, how uh, things will be there. Probably they made the house and some big decisions are there, are there to be made in uh, your household. So they are going to make or at least they'll be consulted. So similarly here in, uh, in real life, uh, in corporate or in companies, that's what happens is we call that as a operational, tactical and uh, strategic level. So this is strategic level. Then there is tactical level. And then do you have operational level? So at the operational level, uh, the duration of the work is somewhat like in weeks or days, you can say weeks or days. At tactical level, it may go from six months to uh, 12 months or one and a half year like that. Six months to one and a half year. And if you talk beyond that horizon, so long term decisions like invest, investing in companies, the, making new plans, or making big changes in the system, buying and acquisitions, all is done at the strategic level. Now, similarly here uh, in the manufacturing, let's consider a manufacturing organization where they are doing manufacturing. So while they are doing manufacturing, uh, the quality issue, the so quality can also be taken at three levels. One is the strategic level, Another is the tactical level issues of the quality and third is at the operational level issues of the quality. So TQM actually comes at the strategic level where we talk about big things, philosophy of the organization, uh, what they are going to do about uh, the workers. Are we going to focus on continuous improvement? Are we going to, uh, are we going to uh, ensure that uh, we are going to give that level level of quality to our customers. So that all happens at the top level. So we can we call that as a TQM and quality assurance happens at the tactical level. So quality assurance is like investing in just a second. So uh, TQM happens at the strategic level, then you have quality assurance happening at the tactical level where uh, they talk about what policy of uh, quality inspection will be there and uh, who will be the supervisor doing it and how often are we going to expedite the quality of the manufacturing which is going on. And then you have the quality control at the bottom. which happens at on daily basis all the time in the organization. They keep looking at the quality. They keep checking at uh, your workers are doing it. So that happens at the ground level. Okay. Without, con without quality control, there is no TQM also. So what we are going to do is we are going to go bottom up. So we are going to go from bottom to up. That is, uh, we are going to start with quality control, but then we talk about quality assurance, then we talk about total quality management at the end of the course. Okay, then you will be able to understand the whole meaning of the quality and all. If we start directly with TQM, it will be a, I don't think so, you will appreciate that sequence. So this is the sequence I'll be following. So quality control is one thing where uh, we'll be focusing a lot on analytics. 
and probably uh, i'll give you more uh, presentation part for tqm where you can do digging and uh, do the presentation part for tqm because th these are some things which you may uh, which are better to be learned on your own rather than uh, told by someone else so that's how it's going to be so we are going to the analytical part the mathematical part uh, i'll be focusing more on this quality control and then you probably are going to apply many things in your day to day life also uh, there is a software called minitab so i will try to integrate minitab also in our course okay so let's go ahead and talk about quality now so we know that quality has been evolving for uh, since beginning we still talk about uh, eiffel tower we still talk about taj mahal right we still talk about uh, uh, colosseum greek architecture right so these and then these things are copied everywhere they I mean they try, try to do things like that people if they are they have to in, they have to uh, make something they try to uh, get some style from that place and make make it their own right so they have uh, quality has been appreciated from appreciated from the time unknown from the beginning itself and uh, uh, in the i think in the supply chain we have already seen that how the industrial revolution happened and uh, because of industrial revolution mass production was happening now because of mass production uh, what is the implication of that is you can't inspect every item are you getting it so that's where the whole concept of quality control came in so it's not that tqm came first it is that quality control actually came first then it kept on evolving evolving and kept on going from bottom to the strategic level so from bottom to strategic level it went and not from like tq people at the beginning of the uh, production um, industrial revolution it itself thought that tqm is going to be a concept no quality control was the first concept which happened okay so uh, that happened in 1920s and 40s where the ford uh, assembly line which we have already i think all of you know that right we have talked about it in the supply chain management course can you tell me um, something about that industrial revolution which we talked about second industrial revolution who's going to tell me we have talked a lot about it in the other course so let's take a okay um, anyone who can tell me what we talk, did talk about industrial revolution and uh, how we are uh, borrowing that concept and bringing that over here so the mass pr production and the assembly lines and work bifurcation yeah work specialization yeah so what what is the implication of mass production i just said it i explained it just now what happened in 1920s and 40s so people started producing more and it's not on, not only in automobile industry but everywhere it happened almost it permeated every industry and they started producing more and more now because of uh, now let's try to understand the situation over here let's say a factory is there it's producing 1000 units of certain item in a day okay let that unit be a mobile phone in order to inspect the whole uh, mobile phone uh what do you think how the quality inspection of this mobile phone might be happening can you think taking random units from anyone else anyone else think about it
okay tell me uh, what type of quality inspection uh, you uh, i'll show you one video of uh, quality inspection going on just a second iParts expert So check one LCD screen checking. Okay. This is actually assembly going on, so So now you can see that uh, it, uh, it's taking significant time. The idea was that uh, something which is uh, taken for granted. I mean, uh, I have to take it from this one. Just a second. So the idea to show that video was that uh, if, if you are taking anything in your hand, maybe it mobile phone, laptop, bottle, uh, anything which is there in your house, it comes through a quality check. It's not like it's going to, uh, uh, it's just going to get produced and assembled and come to you. Now, the thing is, to what extent do we go for quality checking? If you're making 10,000, 1000 units in a day and it's taking, uh, 15 minutes for you to inspect a mobile phone. How much time is going to take? And let's say you have to complete this task in eight hours. How many people do you need to do this? Can you tell me? It takes 15 minutes to check one mobile phone and you have to complete this task in eight hours. How many people do you need? Yes, who's going to answer this? Is it difficult to answer? Yes, Varun? 33. Hmm? 32. 32, 33. Anyone else? Janvi, Karvi, Yukta, Shrija? 32. 
approximately 32 people will be required just to check the uh, whether the mobile phones which are being shipped out are right or not and which is very human intensive work right and uh, these people you'll have to pay a good amount of money okay uh, do you think that 15 minute is an overestimate to check a mobile phone give your opinion do you think 15 minutes an overestimate to check the working of mobile phone yes sir probably uh, a very efficient worker may do the do, do that in 12 minutes we don't know that but it's still uh, you can say average estimate looks fine with me so the problem is the the problem over here is that you can't uh, invest too much in quality you just can't invest too much in just checking the mobile phones right you have to make profit also so this is whole thing where the subject comes into play that how much sampling should we do should we do sampling of, of it or not can uh, if it's not if you are doing too much production is, is it possible to inspect every item okay question 1 that and if you have to do 100% inspection uh, is it worth it for a company because you have to pay these 32 people right and you are giving paying these people just out of your pocket because the value has already been added till the point the uh, production has been done but are you adding any value are these people adding any value to the product are the people checking the quality adding value to the product yes yes anyone shubhangi you're there no they are not adding any value yukta no sir so anyone in the class who says that these people are adding value to the product so this is the whole thing over here which is like you are actually not adding value to the product so it is happening uh, it is uh, uh, it is one way straining your supply chain because your lead time is getting wasted in the quality checking secondly uh, you are uh, uh, investing a lot money over here in quality checking so that's why the quality issue becomes a very pressing issue for the organization okay and hence because of the mass production it has surfaced a lot on the uh, it has become a main concern for many organizations quality and uh, people uh, you have uh, already learned about many things like companies calling back cars have you heard about it have you heard about it companies calling back cars for uh, faulty items which were there okay. no sir product product recall just uh, google all of you product recall product recalling news check it in the news product recall news let me know what you read i will also do that sir it's uh, showing food recall uh, first it, news yeah it it may be there food recall is there and uh, you can also write automobile yes. food recall is actually a pressing issue mostly because of the um, some uh, warning or the bacteria found in some products and all now you write product recall automobile so first one which you are going to get is product recall for more than 80000 toyota cars due to fears of exploding airbags then you have uh, tesla recalling uh, so many 475000 cars over the issues that could increase the risk of crash okay and then you have further more uh, 
items like Indian auto industry voluntarily recalls 376,000 vehicles for a year. So, an electric glitch forces Maruti to make its largest ever recall involving 1.8 lakh cars, Sears and Ortega. So, uh, with this, I mean, you can all understand that it is a pressing issue if uh, because of certain quality checks which are not there in the right place you happen to miss out just a second you can actually miss out on uh, i mean look at the cost which will be there and what is the other uh, flip side of product recall besides simply uh, you can say money what else is there at stake in the product recall problem hogi product recall hoga to aap batayenge anyone people will not trust for the further so you, buying of the product yeah, it's not the uh, it's, it's not the current money which you lose it's actually you lose the future money you lose brand value you, okay let's say today in the newspaper it comes that uh, certain company has recalled so many cars so are you going to go and purchase that car, uh, that company's car on that day? Probably no. Probably you're going to give it a second thought. That maybe some problem is there. I don't know. If I purchase a car today and they again ask me to uh, send uh, so deposit the car and then uh, I can take it back after one month. So you'll be very apprehensive in doing that. It will cause a lot of inconvenience to you. So you don't want to fall into that thing. Getting it? So what happened in... Uh, in 1940s and 1960s, you can say 1940s to 1960s, the production requirements increased after World War II because everyone got to know at what speed we can produce and no consumer goods were being like fridge, refrigerators, uh, vehicles, uh, cycles and uh, your uh, oven toaster and all these things came into fashion people th this these things television these start these things started becoming uh, essentials rather than the luxury so american society of quality control asqc american society of quality control was formed in 1946 so this american society uh, they devised sampling plans they devised sampling plans, which we are going to study later in the course. They devised sampling plans for inspecting the products. Uh, because uh, in World War II, you are producing, uh, they were producing uh, aircrafts and artillery and those tanks and all in large amount at a very fast pace. So, and if they fail uh, at certain point of time during the war, they could lose the territory. But there could be real problem with that. So they kept working on it. And uh, they devised several uh, techniques of controlling the quality and ensuring that their devices don't fail in the field. So there was a person, E. Deming. He visited Japan and uh, he gave lectures on statistical quality control in 1950. In statistical quality control, we can say that uh, how can you uh, ensure that some percentage of your output, if you draw a sample and on the basis of that you want, you want to claim that some percentage of your output is uh, actually um, in control for now i'm using the word control let it be so uh, the in statistical ways or mathematical ways he devised and with those uh, uh, people became more uh, aware and then there was another person juran in 1954 he also uh, 
So Deming focused on the mathematical part and Junan focused on, for, uh, impressed on the philosophical part. So you can see that the pyramid of which we see, the bottom part was focused, Deming was focusing on the bottom part of the quality and Juran was focusing on the top part of the quality. So they had their own uh, teaching. So strategic role, Juran focused on the strategic role while Deming focused on the uh, statistical quality control. That is the operational part. So in 1959, then inspection and quality control handbook was made with the sampling plans and all. And how can you extend the life of a product by proper maintenance and all. Okay. So then uh, in 1960s, total quality control word was devised. So in, uh, today, just I'm going to give you this uh, chronology. You should not, I mean, you should have some idea about it, that uh, how the quality became important and who are the important people. So Deming and Juran name, often you're going to um, listen and probably in some uh, group discussion or places where, where you want to drop the names, you can drop these names as a part, like it, it helps in while you're being a part of a group, it helps in building your image also, if you know these things. So 1960 to 70, there was a period of total quality control. Total quality control. So it's not management is not, this is not management, but total quality control. So uh, here, Earlier, only production, the quality was considered to be the baby of production department only. But then over a period of time, it gradually got involved in other departments like finance, HR, uh, marketing. Everyone started talking about quality. So uh, the concept of zero defect was emphasized in that zero defects. Even our uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has that quality, uh, has that uh, word zero defect, zero effect uh, policy for the manufacturing organizations. So zero defect, okay, which emphasize productivity through worker involvement. So it's not only, uh, so work, as you can see, uh, you remember that in mass production, the workers were being treated, treated as machines. Right, they were considered to be machines, and their time study was carried out on them, considering them just like machines, piece per rate. I mean, piece per per unit time they are producing and all. So uh, they, the, with the uh, total quality control and the concepts of given by Juran, the human, the worker was now being treated more like a human, and. Uh, the participation of the worker was considered a very important aspect where uh, in order to uplift the quality of the product, work, worker should be involved, not just checking it, but he can give suggestions also. Then total quality management uh, evolved after that. Okay, now we talk about quality characteristics. Now I'll continue from here, quality characteristics in the next class quality characteristics so we'll continue uh, in the next class from here i hope all of you have given the attendance